Hey guys, it's Mrs. Vu. We are looking at the fourth grade online learning calendar for the week of April 13th through the 17th. And I just wanted to give you a peek at Monday so you will understand how the lesson will go today. We have a fourth grade reference chart, which will open up in a new tab, looks like this. We also have some word problems to help you practice converting customary units of measure, which will open up here. Just a couple of problems to get us going. We're actually going to solve one very similar to this first one in our lesson today. And so when you feel comfortable after that lesson, you can come over here and give it a go on this practice. So if you're excited, stay tuned. The carpenter had a board that was five feet long. He cut off four inches. How long was the board after he cut it? We're going to start with our answer statement. Next, we need a strip diagram. Remember that we have to have a starting line and a letter standing for what the problem is all about. I'm gonna choose the letter B because it's about the carpenter's board. We also have to make sure all parts of the problem are illustrated in the bar model. So I'm gonna start with the carpenter's board. It is five feet long. So I'm gonna partition this board into five sections. He cut off four inches. How long was the board after he cut it? So our question mark goes here at the end because we're trying to find out how long the board is now. To help us solve this, we're going to make an input output table. Just make a simple t-chart. The problem is talking about feet and inches. So on one side, I'm going to put feet and on the other side, I'm gonna put inches. When you reference your fourth grade, mathematics chart, it tells us that one foot is the same as 12 inches. So to go from feet to inches, I need to multiply by 12. One foot is the same as 12 inches. Two feet are the same as 24 inches. Three feet are the same as 36 inches. And four feet are the same as 48 inches. Five feet that's the same as 60 inches. So now we can write our equation, which looks like this. 60 inches, which is the same as five feet, minus the four inches that he cut off is going to give us L, the length of the board, what he has left. And you can solve this any way you would like to. 60 minus four is 56 inches. So I go back down to my answer statement and in the blank, I put in 56 inches. Another way we can solve this problem is by using our strip diagram. So our strip diagram is partitioned into five feet, one, two, three, four, five. By referencing our fourth grade mathematics chart, we can tell that inside of this foot, there are 12 inches. There's 12 inches here, 12 inches here, 12 inches here. There's also 12 inches here, but remember the carpenter has cut off four inches. So what is left of this foot is actually eight inches. And when we add all of these together, we actually still get our answer of 56 inches. Depending on how the question is asked, you might want to keep the answer in feet and inches. So in that case, we would take these four feet and put it side by side with these eight inches that are left. So we could either answer this question with four feet, eight inches, or 56 inches.